Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. We're going to take a look at the energy for the next seven days. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag. We're going to see what the energy looks like coming into the reading, what's influencing or challenging that energy, recent past, what's on your mind for the next seven days, why is everything happening? So what's the main energy? What will you experience in the near future? How you see yourself? What's coming in from your environment that you don't know? Surprise! What about your emotions? So your hopes and fears, and what's the outcome for the next seven days? And of course, we will clarify. You're gonna to wanna to hang out to the end of the reading. We're gonna talk about the giveaway. So we're doing another giveaway, and if you wanna participate, hang out to the end. We'll talk about what it is and how you can enter, and then I have a couple other little announcements. The extended reading link will be below in the description box, also pinned in the comment section. We'll get advice from Spirit, and then we'll do a love reading over there. All right, coming in, what do we got? What's the energy? We got a 10 of cups in reverse, Sagittarius. What's influencing or challenging that 10 of cups in reverse? The six of wands. What's on your mind, Sag? What's going through your thoughts? A king of swords, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe they have that in their chart. Or, that's bugging me. They're just taking on that king of swords energy, right? We'll see what that is. What happened in your recent past? What went down probably last week? The Two of Pentacles. All right, why is everything happening? What's in the foundation? Three of Swords in reverse. Card of Libra. Coming into the near future, Sag, what will you experience? The Tower. Major Arcana for Scorpio. We'll see. Is that going to be a good tower or a bad tower? We'll see. How do you see yourself over the next seven days? The Page of Pentacles. Earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. All right, what's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? What's the universe bringing? The Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. So some sort of turn of events. Looks like it goes in your favor. We'll see what that is. What's in your hopes or fears over the next week or so? Queen of Cups, Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you have Scorpio in your chart. What's the outcome? What do we got? The Moon, or you have Cancer in your chart. Because the moon for me is sign of cancer. Can be read as Pisces as well. But on this channel, that's what we got. All right, y'all. Let's see what's up. Okay, we're going to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. Oh, real quick before I forget. I'm going to go live this Friday, July 14th at 4 p.m. Central. I'm not going to set a notification because it just never works in my favor. It usually just screws up the feed and nobody receives the notifications anyway. So mark your calendars if you wanna come join me Friday. We're gonna do all signs and we're gonna do some tarot. So come check it out. Those Fridays are gonna be consistent again. They're coming back Friday lives. All right, Sagittarius, why is everything happening? Well, it's because of this Three of Swords in reverse. So getting over heartbreak. Could be an apology as well. I really do feel like there is somebody, um, there'll be this like kind of to the point conversation, right? Communication from somebody. It doesn't have to be an ex. It doesn't have to be a reconciliation. But I do feel like somebody wants to get to the heart of the matter here. It could even be a family member with that 10 of cups in reverse. All right, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. It, it could be... Um, uh, we'll see what that tower is. That's what you're going to experience in the near future. Could be kind of out of nowhere. Suddenly shocks you a bit. But the tower can also be like a heated discussion, like a blow up of some sort too. We'll see. Somebody might want to knock it down and rebuild the situation too. All right. Sagittarius coming in. We've got this Ten of Cups in reverse. What's this about? And the Empress. Major Arcana for Taurus. Yeah, it could be with your mother. Or if you're a mother, your children, or somebody within your family, the Empress could be a sister, a mother. You know, she's a court guard. She could be anybody, really. But she does, she's very powerful, strong energy. For some of you, it's even you. But that Empress energy is nurturing. It's expansion. It's wanting to nurture and love and grow and feed a connection. And it's coming in, it's because of some unhappiness. And with that Ten of Cups in reverse... It could be a family situation. What's this Empress coming in? And the Six of Swords moving on. Yeah, it's it's almost like it, this feels very much like let's let bygones be bygones with someone. Again, it could be a love interest. 
but coming in, somebody wants to move forward and leave the choppiness behind. And it's coming from expansion and growth and loving. And again, somebody here, I would expect somebody to try to, again, have a conversation or somebody wants to put the past in the past. Like, let's move forward here with the situation. Why is the Six of Wands challenging or influencing? You've got the Four of Swords in reverse. Somebody's ego may have gotten the best of a connection here. And that could be causing this unhappy energy. The Ten of Cups in reverse can even be some mild depression. It's like, this was kind of my everything, my happily ever after, a marriage even. But with it in reverse, all those cups are flowing out. They're all, you know, being dumped upside down, which is causing an imbalance in happiness. And it could have been pride and ego with the Six of Wands. But with the Four Swords in reverse, again, this, there's this kind of return. It's like, I have something to say, right? Whether you take this information or not, you know, that's up to you. But I would definitely expect somebody to reach out, try to get your attention in some way. What happened in the past? Two of Pentacles. What do we got? And we have a King of Swords in reverse now. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think it's the same person on your mind. Whether they are an air sign or not, or have air in their chart, this person may have even spouted off. That King of Swords in reverse can be kind of hurtful communication. If it's love with somebody wishy-washy with you, Sag, they were kind of going back and forth. Maybe they're too busy. You guys may have had an argument. Words could have been thrown that were just, well, nasty. King of Swords in reverse is not nice when that, with that communication. Or, you know, this can be cheating or lying or just like verbally very abrasive energy, very cold and it could have been, again, somebody was just too busy or, again, it was like this kind of going back and forth. What do I do with this situation or this person? For some of you, it is a family member, like a male energy, but then you have a female family member who's very nurturing and is going to try to make things right. And for some of you, this is just the same person. What's on your mind, Sag? You've got the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What do we got? And the Eight of Swords in reverse. Why is the King of Swords on your mind with the Eight of Swords in reverse? We've got the Two of Wands in reverse. Getting a lot of reversals, and I'll tell you, there's more uprights in the deck. So don't come at me in the comments. That's just how they're coming out. Sitting, kind of sitting back, not really making plans, but waiting probably. You may have been kind of abrasive or cold or detached from this person, but with the Two of Wands in reverse, it's like, I'm not gonna do anything this week. I'm, I'm gonna wait for them, right? Because with that Eight of Swords in reverse, mentally you've already released from this energy. It was too frustrating. You don't, you don't want to deal with this. But this person, to me, feels like they're trying to make something come together, whether it's the actual person or somebody external to you two. It's all about the Three of Swords in reverse. That's why this is happening. And the Nine of Cups. Somebody may have been a little smug. I'm getting like ego, a little smug energy. That Nine of Cups is wishes and manifestation. But it's also, um, you know, it can be kind of self-indulgent energy as well. What's this Three of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Cups for Sag? The Knight of Pentacles. And it could have been about money too. You may be pissed off because somebody owes you some money. Maybe somebody in the family. But that Knight of Pentacles, you got Earth energy, stability. It's, it's very slow. Like right now at this moment, it's just at a standstill. But the knight's coming, right? He's, he's in pursuit of something. It's just taking a while. But I do feel that um, somebody here is being really cautious and careful, very responsible with their actions and their, their communication. And it's because in the past, they were a little, little smug. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Nine of Cups. They were kind of just thinking of themselves. What's coming in that you don't see yet? So what will you experience? You've got the Tower, Scorpio Energy, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so there could be a heated exchange with someone. And I think it would be more like sad because you don't want to talk to this person or you're really pissed, you want space, but they're not giving you the space. Why is the Tower here with the Nine of Swords coming in? What is this? And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, see, there's a return. It causes some anxiety. You're not really sure what to do with this person or this situation. And it just, boom. So watch your communication for sure. Don't get too, you know, try not to get angry. That tower can be a big blow up. 
But I think also too, it's more like a wrecking ball. This person's coming in to just demolish what's happened here. They're also living in the anxiety of what's happened. And there is an emotional connection. They're trying to fix it. You see yourself as the Page of Pentacles with the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. You see yourself as moving very slowly. I think a lot of you are really focusing on studying something, learning something new within your career, your job, but also learning about yourself. The Page of Pentacles is a student because he values, he's got that pentacle. I think a lot of you do want an, uh, this person to extend this olive branch. You're manifesting, but I don't see you putting a lot of effort or work into it. And that's perfectly fine. It's just for the week. But you are creating something new of value and substance in your life while all this is going on as well. What's coming in that you don't see? You've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Hermit. Major Arcana for Virgo. That Hermit's like, listen, I need a minute. I need a minute. Again, we've got a sudden change, sudden movement. It's what the universe wants for you, though. It's in the upright. And with the hermit energy, again, it could be somebody, obviously, that you need a little space. You said, hey, I need a minute. And it moves very slowly. But it's all about inquiring, researching, you know, a situation as well. This person wants to uncover. It just feels like whomever this is, Sag, they don't want to just leave it alone. They're not okay with just leaving this alone. And so here it comes with the Wheel of Fortune. What's in your hopes or fears for the week? You've got the Queen of Cups. Here she is. And the Three of Pentacles. Emotions are balanced. You've got the cup. I know you have love or emotion or at least respect for this person, but that cup is closed. Why? Because of the Three of Pentacles. Some other people may have gotten involved, but again, you want deep down you want to work something out here hell it could even be a co-worker or a group of people at work in your feels you're holding on to that cup and you're like i'm going to offer this cup at some point but I, I gotta wait i gotta wait and see what this looks like so this is all about them making the move making something right bringing some sort of stability and balance to whatever's happened here with this king of swords in reverse that Three of Pentacles in your feels is wanting to work this out, is wanting to collaborate. Um, your energy is super nurturing, but also very intuitive. What's the outcome? Uh-oh, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Sorry about that, Sag. My computer was going off. Usually I have that silenced and I forgot to do. I've had so many interruptions today, y'all, with readings. It just never fails. But yeah, your emotions are balanced. You feel like you could really rely on your intuition. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Emperor Aries energy. Could be a boss, a father. But again, your energy is all about overcoming these obstacles and regaining control of the situation, really setting those boundaries. The outcome, we've got the moon, Cancerian energy, and the five of cups. Your intuition <laughs> with the situation at the end of the week is, mm, I don't know, this person's let me down before. Will I have regrets if I open up to them? You're still very cautious with opening up and with your emotions with this person because of the five of cups. It's a very emotional energy. Something happened here obviously in the past and you're afraid you will regret or be disappointed why is the moon with the five of cups judgment yeah see there's if i allow this person to come into my life if we talk this through if we try to fix a situation here you know and repeat the past give them a second chance resurrect this is it going to lead to disappointment and loss and sadness? And you, you're so skeptical with your, you know, allowing yourself to open up. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should be, right? It's a big, it's a big, big call. It's a judgment call. It's a big decision with this person. And there's that Queen of Cups again. A lot of Scorpio. Some of y'all are Scorpio or uh, Sag Scorpio. Hello, Mom. Scorpio Sag Cuspers. And there's that Queen of Cups energy. I feel like this resolves itself. It may be next week, may not be within the next seven days because your energy feels so hesitant, 
right? You've got it. You know you're going to accept whatever this person has to tell you because there's a lot of feel. There's a lot of emotion in this reading. And with that Queen of Cups judgment, I do feel like, again, it almost feels like you're going to make them wait a little bit, but you do take them back into your life in some aspect. You forgive them or, but this is all about like your intuition, using your intuition on a very important decision, judgment. Do you allow this person back in? I do feel like they did something shitty in the past. It may have even been a repetitive cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. This is all about karma. And I do think that you take a hard look at that. Is the cycle going to keep repeating itself? The hermit. The hermit is investigating. And he's very slow to take action. But it looks like to me, you do. Because there's emotion for this person and there's respect and there's a lot of healing energy. Something works itself out here. I just don't know if it's gonna be in the next week. Now, in the extended reading, we will take a look strictly at love, but we're also gonna look at what spirit wants you to focus on. We're gonna pull a couple oracle cards of where your focus needs to be for the week, just overall. Uh, as far as the giveaway, August 1st, I will randomly pick a winner. I'm going to do a private reading giveaway this time around. So if you want to enter that, just comment below and let me know that you would like to enter the drawing for the private reading. And we will do it. Other than that, members, if you are a member of the channel, I will see you all on tomorrow. I will see you all on Thursday for your collective reading. If you want to join the channel, all that info is below. You also receive all of the extended readings throughout the month as part of your membership. So check it out. All right, Sag, I'll see y'all over on the extended and I will see hopefully a lot of you Friday at 4 p.m. Central for the live. Love you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.